I just wanted to show you a really quick tip on how to flat iron your hair properly. Um, a lot of people don't realize that there is a trick to flat ironing. Um, I've noticed when I hand my flat iron to somebody or, or they ask to borrow my flat iron maybe um, while I'm doing their hair and clients will sometimes just grab a chunk and go like this to flat iron their hair and that actually is not the proper way to flat iron. Basically you're just kind of flat ironing the, the, the frizz that's already there and so it's really not smoothing it like you like it it can be smooth so I'm gonna show you a really quick tip when I went to Vidal Sassoon many 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 years ago for training um, they taught me a really neat trick on how to get that really smooth sleek straight hair with a flat iron so like I said a lot of you grab your hair and go straight down or even if you do use a comb which the comb is the trick okay so even if you do use a comb my comb is janky Look at that. Anyway, this is okay, it'll work. But if you use a comb, some people just go straight down. When you do that, you see every single layer. It looks really choppy. So the trick is to split your hair in a diagonal, get all of that hair out of the way, okay? You're doing too much hair in a section. Take a little section of hair, take your comb, put your comb in first, your flat iron goes behind it, and you're gonna pull forward at a diagonal towards your face, letting it fall out, okay? You can see it'll lay really straight. It gives you that nice curve to the hair. You're gonna take that next section, comb, iron behind it, pulling forward towards the face. Let it fall out, okay? My flat iron is really old. I have one of the lucky ones. I still have one of the original Chi irons. Um, they don't make them like this anymore. The Chi Iron, to me, in my personal opinion, is not as good as the original ones. This one doesn't have a control setting on it for the heat. Um, I like, right now, my favorite iron is the U Smooth Iron. We carry those at Fresh Hair. What I like about U Smooth is that if you have something go wrong with it, they will replace it within the year. Um, no questions asked. They, you just bring it back to us at Fresh Hair and they'll give you a new one if, it's, if it was purchased when it, within the year. And they have a temperature setting on theirs. So so they can you can change it you know up to I think it goes up to 450 degrees but don't ever use 450 degrees on your hair there's no reason to do that you can use uh, maybe the max is what I go to is 400 if you have really healthy hair if you have a uh, damaged hair blonde hair any kind of fragile hair fine hair you want to turn that down a little bit you can always turn it up if you need more but be on the safe side and keep it as low as you possibly can so I love the use smooth like I said um, we have those at fresh hair I believe they retail for 160 or 170 somewhere in that range but it's a, it's a great product and a great company um, I also think a heat protectant is very important Kuhn makes an amazing heat protectant that you can put on your hair when, before you blow dry it it protects your hair up to 1450 degrees like I said you're never going to use anything over 400 hopefully so this is a great product because it's going to help protect your color from fading from the heat damage and heat styling and so um, always have a heat uh, protectant on your hair if you're a person who likes to flat iron like I said I don't flat iron that much that's why I have this from like when 1990 when they first came out or whenever it came out I'm not sure but uh, so anyway this is a great tip is to use a comb flat iron put the comb flat iron behind it pull it forward okay so then you're gonna bring the next section down and I just split that with my finger it's not a not a big deal it doesn't have to be this precise thing clip it out of the way and then take that section and this is easy because you're bringing it all forward and the comb kind of acts as an extension of your hand. You're gonna put that flat iron in, pulling it forward and letting it fall. I do a little bit, a tiny little bit of a twist towards the end, barely, just to give that, if you do have layering like I do around your face, it gives you that curved in layer, okay? And so, but you can see the difference when you do a smaller section like this with a comb. The comb provides tension, the comb pulls out the tangles and it lets that hair fall really nice and smooth, okay? So that's the most important key, is using a comb. So you can see the difference, how my hair's laying from one side to the other. So you're gonna take the next section down. I just wanted to show you guys that proper technique on how to use a flat iron, because, I mean, how would you know otherwise? Most people, you know, it doesn't come with instructions. 
you know, you just got to get in there and learn. And I didn't even know when I went to be Del Sassoon, I was doing it. Like I said, with just like pulling it straight down or pulling it with the, um, comb straight down. I didn't realize if you pull it at an angle, it's going to lay more blended and have a smoother look. You're not going to have those big chunks showing the big layers. So there you go. I just wanted to show you guys that tip from one side to the other. Looks great, huh? So good luck. Let me know if you have any questions on flat irons and I'd be more than happy to help you. So I just, so just keep those irons turned down low. Keep that heat protectant on your hair and go out and get you a comb, okay? One that has all its teeth. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.